So, man, I heard you got a flight coming up. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it, though. What? Uh, flying is super fun. What are you talking about? You could do it ever get cold water, dude. Uh, that sucks. But, yeah, I mean, you know, King of the Sky, man. King of the Sky? I'm going to yeah. sit down. The only movie's going to be on there some Disney movies and Sully. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. But, I mean, uh, you know, hook up with a uh, fine stewardess, you know? Anything goes. Sure. Stewardess, let's get a piece right now. There nice you go. Nice to get work. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's illegal, dude. Illegal? Hmm. I guess. I mean, uh, ever since 9-11, you know, thanks a lot, Bin Laden. <laughs> Boop. Break Room Blitz. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don and my boy Conch here. Come on, guys. We're all back. We're the team. I don't know. We couldn't say anything with not four of us, but we're uh, uh, three musketeers. All right. Three amigos better. Three amigos. Three amigos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's better with all of us. So, all right. So we just came back from seeing Sully. Yeah. Oh, our, sh our shirts? Well, I have a regular work shirt. It's a captain shirt. I had something to do earlier, so yeah. I couldn't wear one of those. <laughs> Got my, you know, double uh, You know, you know how it is sometimes. Still look a fly. I <laughs> uh, just came back from seeing Sully. Um, so, if you don't know what that's about, it's a, if you don't remember, um, you should remember, the plane that got... I guess it had landed. He wants to say landed, landed on, 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 on the not Hudson in, River. Not in the Hudson River. <laughs> not in. No. Didn't crash. It landed on top. Yeah. Like a feather. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, if you remember that, it's about that and all the drama that the pilot had with that incident. Um, and I, it, I think it really appealed to people because we didn't know that that actually happened. We thought that he was a hero, you know, he did some interviews, wrote a book, yeah. and that was it, you know, but the death definitely was not the story, so, um, it just, it, it goes, a, it's about maybe a week or two of his life during that time, after the crash, yeah, it's, it's um, right. and he's mostly in a hotel, um, and he's going back and forth into these, you know, hearings, um, mm -hmm. so it just, it, it, it's a lot of drama with that, mm -hmm. so if you are interested in knowing the story of what happened, maybe you should go watch it. Do you think... What do you guys think? Maybe you should watch it? Is it a pass or... I, I'm glad I watched it. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, it was worth the watch. What yeah, do you think? I, you know, I, I definitely like Tom Hanks' character. I enjoyed the movie. Mm -hmm. It actually just... It felt like a documentary. Yeah, and I so got that. I, I mean, I could have actually just watched it as a documentary on Netflix or something, mm -hmm. um, and been equally satisfied. Would you go see it for twelve fifty? Mm, I, I wouldn't pay. I actually, pay, you did a five dollar matinee on it, so uh, I wish I not to done not that. to chunk the cheese on it, but like, yeah, I, I mean, I, I paid twelve fifty. Just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it hurts. Um, you know, I think I would have to agree with you. I would have rather it been a documentary versus a movie because. You know, we already didn't know that there was so much surrounding the incident. Yeah. So I want to know all the details. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to know exactly why, you know, they were against him. You know, right. so and I feel like it just they didn't give me that. It was just like they were already against him from the get go, and I had to just take it. Yeah. Right. And I would have really wanted to know why, what they were talking about. You know, like what, what what's the benefit of it being his fault? Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. Um, yeah I think that's rude. what got me a lot too about that was just 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 how that was working. I I, I didn't like a lot of the dynamic and the, like it's like. This guy just literally like made sure that people didn't die. And yeah, yeah. Really? Like, uh, it was a little disrespectful. I feel like, what if you were on that plane? That's what yeah. I'm saying. You know, it's would like, you be grateful? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's 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 that whole hero dynamic where it's just like you know, like everybody hates Spider Man, everybody likes Spider Man. It's right. like it's like that whole hero aspect so. of things. It's like, oh well, if you could have saved him, why don't you just go park it over there? It's like, really? No. Okay. You know, when you're up there, you tell me how you handle it. Is how it went <laughs> yeah, down. That's exactly kind of like what I was thinking in the movie. Really, kind of. Uh, I don't know. If we'll probably get into this later. I don't want to knock what we're, what our plan, our agenda is. But I will just say it. Is a, it pissed me off for the most part that like he 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 did the right thing and he worked under pressure and he handled it and he he did the best thing he could do with what he had and it didn't ma it matter how good he tried. Mm -hmm. Cut him from under his feet. That's all I right, wanted to yeah. do. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting there going like. I want to line all these guys up in a line and just smack them all in the face and be like, you're an idiot, idiot, <laughs> idiot. Right. 
So the airline off of that is trying to, I would say, frame him for, I guess, negligence. Negligence, malpractice, uh, what, right. what, what have you. Right off the bat, as soon as he gets off of the plane, goes into the first hearing, they're like, well, how come you didn't just go back to the airport? Yeah. He's like, well, I couldn't. Well, the, the simulation said you could. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, well, whoa, 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 just save 155 <laughs> people. Yeah. yeah. I just remember that. Well, the left engine was good, and you could have made it with that. It's like, well, I was up there driving it, and that thing was not ticking, okay? <laughs> right, so it, it, it really... It was one-sided, and we would have really one wanted yeah. to know why. Because like, I feel like if everyone would have died, he was the, he's the only pilot that ever landed in water and survived. Right. So yeah. I feel like you need a gold star right. and an applause and some yeah. money or whatever. You know. Yeah. You know, filled with stewardesses. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But that wasn't the case, no. you know. And it just, I don't know. It, it would have been better as a documentary. I definitely feel that way. It, as I'm watching it, I liked it. I liked it, mm-hmm. but I liked it more for like Netflix. I liked it more for like I just downloaded it or something like that. I didn't want to pay twelve fifty for it. So that's something you guys can think about: is the price versus the material you're gonna get. You're gonna like it, mm-hmm. but it's gonna be kind of like I could have just watched it on Netflix. Yeah. And got the same thing. And, and you know what? That goes to show you, too, because Netflix, they're stepping up the bar. Where they it's are just like, the bar. their original series of movies are just like getting up there where it's like, wow, some of these movies that come out in theaters are not cutting it as opposed to like these movies that like go straight to Netflix. You yeah. Know? They are doing their thing. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's good that we can do a comparison like that nowadays. Uh, otherwise, it would have been like HBO or something. Yeah. I will say that Clint Eastwood did a lot better job with this movie, than, except a couple of the past ones. This one mm-hmm. did a very good job of focusing, focusing on the character, make you very, becoming very emotionally attached. And, like, you're just sitting there, like, really involved with with Tom Hanks, and it's Tom Hanks. Yeah, you right. definitely yeah. wanted yeah. to cheer for him. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, I, I just, like, I, I would have loved to have been his bodyguard. Like, I keep mm-hmm. on saying this, but just anyone that gave him crap, just. Bam! Like, right. what? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you're a hero. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Yeah. Um, and you know what? You, uh, the day that I went to go see this movie, I actually saw uh, or re-saw uh, Saving Private Ryan uh, just to <laughs> actually see a Tom Hanks movie. And, wow. I mean, he's just like a top-notch actor. So consistent in mm-hmm. his movies. He definitely um, transforms into a character. Yeah, I never yeah. felt like this is just Tom Hanks on the screen like I, I i did get the feel that like he was the captain and that you know he was like you know very like knowing of his airplane pretty much where everything was and right. procedures on what to do so it, it wouldn't surprise me if he like actually took classes for that kind of thing or whatnot because he really he like it. like took that role into himself he but, probably knows how to fly and you know what not, I, 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 I mean i mean aside from being the captain it really showed uh like the personal life you know and and like i think there was a part in the movie where uh they were losing a house maybe uh, another house that they were renting i didn't or like something. that i didn't like that part i didn't like his oh, wife watch your head. oh look at that you i just, thought you were like trying to slap me i'm like what is no, happening right you, now you just <laughs> saved him and you know what i'm gonna tell you i'm like <laughs> you're a horrible person and I have to check the angle of that poster and make sure it was set up properly. <laughs> oh, man. Live action, guys. All right. It just happened right there. Um, I didn't like that part. I thought that she was a little selfish. Uh, the, his, okay, so the, the part that I should say, like, uh, where, like, they really presented him well was that, uh, you know, they, they, they were talking about, um, you know, that they were losing this house and they were, like, you know, having problems with that, and it takes place in 2009, right when the um, you know uh, housing market crashed. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like they were actually affected that. So there was a lot of things happening during this time. You know, it was you know so many years after 9/11, so everybody was sketchy with these planes, and this was just another catastrophe right that. in the same area. You know, but so I it, just there was a lot surrounding it. Landed. Right. But for everyone else, I just crashed a plane because <laughs> the the engines didn't work. So to me, it's a crash. Absolutely, yeah. And I survived. Mm-hmm. You're talking about you need to get back in the air. I need some rehab. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I don't even know what I would would do as a as a passenger. Yeah. I'm like freaking out. And it does show him and and his co-pilot having those traumatic, you know, uh, right. dreams and nightmares about it. So. And she's just like. I need you to get back in the air because I feel like the next thing is we're going to lose this house. I'm like, really? I'm about to retire. Like, are you yeah, serious right now? Yeah. I don't, know, I, don't know if that, I don't know how true that was, but that definitely happened in the movie. Um, it, it, 
I don't know. I like teamwork. I like someone who's actually there for you, who's a supporter. And, and you're talking about the dynamic with him and his wife, basically, right? Right. Like, and then she's yeah. just like, I need you to get back in the air. I'm worried we're going to lose the house. Like, I just... Did you just hear me? Did right. you see the news? Do you not see the reporters outside? Right. <laughs> like, I just crashed into the lake or yeah. into the river. Yeah. Okay? All you should be worried about is when I'm coming home. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then when she said, you need me to come out there, that's not even a question. Yeah. I'm coming out there. We're flying out tonight. Yeah, you should have been there. You, you, I mean, you did Yeah. Right. That was weird to me. Now, I get why he told her not to, because yeah. as a man, you don't want your woman to stress. You know, right. you're going to take the brunt of everything. But as a woman, you should just know that he's only saying that just to protect me. So I'm about to go out there and be his backbone, be whatever he needs, because that's a traumatic thing. And, and you just be selfish for yourself. I'm going to go out there because I almost lost my husband. Yeah, and, that's uh, what I'm saying. Like, when that, when that happened, I'm, I'm, when he told her no, I'm like, you should probably be telling him over the phone. Well, guess what? I mean, coming out there anyways, because I, I, I need that. I need to be with right. you. Like, th that that whole thing, like, yeah, I have opinions. Yeah. I'll just leave it there. And, and so, I mean, like, the, the, I guess <clears throat> the craziest point was that, you know, you know he, he just finished, you know, saving a whole bunch of people because it was, like, this traumatic event that happened. And then the airline, you know, are indicting him and having this whole investigation and already, like, accusing him of being negligent. You could have done this, this, and this. And he's coming from the frame of mind, well, you weren't up there, and this is what I did. And I like that the, the best supporting uh, that he had was from his uh, co-pilot, yeah. you know? That, that's who was there for him. He's like, dude, you know, I was there with you. And he was kind of a comedic, you know, role of this. He's like, if there was anything you could have changed, what would it be? He's like, I would have done it during July because it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I did, I did it's, like, that. it's like they were freezing out there. You um, know, I... I I thought that it would have made it more, I guess, a better movie if they would have just wrote it to where he kind of like uh, threw him under the bus a little bit, or he was the reason why they kind of like had more evidence against him. Sure. Um, it, it would have, that would have tossed the whole conspiracy but, thing into the movie, and I see where you're going with that. But I actually over dramatization really, of it. I really appreciated the fact that um, you know he didn't he didn't. You know, Judas. Him. He, he, you know, he stuck with his his part. It's not the Judas, him, but like he could just be saying truthfully what happened. Like, you know what? I did kind of feel like the left engine could have had some thrust, but I'm not the captain, so I was going yeah. whatever he wanted. Well, yeah, and that, that's a that's the thing about it too, because yeah, you know, I would, I would have felt would have better. Made worse. Facts. <laughs> I would have felt worse for Sully at that point because I'm sitting there going like, dude, your buddy just burned you, like, right. But that's why I think it should have been a documentary yeah, because yeah. it would have been all true. It would have been their side of the story. It would have been more facts. As a movie, though, I felt like it just was lacking that drama. Mm -hmm. um, maybe that's why they didn't tell us why the uh, the airlines was against them because that was like the drama from yeah. the start was you should have did this. The simulation says this. You could have did that. Mm -hmm. I think that was the drama, but I would have wanted just a little bit more. For me, yeah, a little bit more. I, I think you could probably got that more out of like... Uh, one of the passengers that was probably suing the airline because they show some of the passengers leaving the plane and then some guy tries to swim to shore and then some ladies over here swimming in a different direction i'm like that was so stupid what? like you guys don't look like a michael phelps to me. Where, where do you think you're going we gotta yeah. jump <laughs> and you're on a freaking floating like get over it like yeah. she didn't even have a dog on vest on she jumping off the i'm yeah. like why are you jumping in the water you don't even got your life vest on it's yeah. cold <laughs> What you think? <laughs> you're not I get, I get, in a I get the tub. sense of panicking, but now you're going to cause someone else to go after you, right. and then they're going to cause you. No one went after them. Yeah, I feel like that's the right thing to do. You know what? You know what? Stay in the water. You right. just don't. Yeah. You can learn. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I mean, I think if if there was any drama, it would have been for some uh, passengers suing the airline for whatever that happened. You know. But, I mean, uh, uh, every single one of those passengers, even after the movie they showed, like, after the credits, you know, the actual passengers, Sully, his co-pilot, and, you know, they have a gathering, you know, of everyone. Have so, you guys ever been through, like, bad turbulence? You probably haven't. No yeah. Yeah, no, I've, I've had some I, bad I've only been through, like, maybe once or twice. But it w I, I wouldn't consider it bad. It's so nerve-wracking. Now, I'm a, I, I'm a white guy, so I pray. <laughs> but I've heard some stories. People are like flipping over, tossing each other around. I'm like, oh my god! I don't even know what I would do if I'm getting tossed all around. That would be so 
scary. So I feel for the people. Yeah. yeah. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, there's actually one fight that um, we were coming back. It was a night flight, and it was, it was kind of crazy because on the far right side, I saw this gorgeous thunderstorm. And, I, and, you know, I'm thinking, oh, that's pretty. And then all of a sudden, you know, seatbelt light came on, and then you, you just feel a plane go like, yeah, and then I'm sitting there going like, whoa, and so I'm sitting there okay, oh. and there's this, there's this guy next to me and this kid over there, and the kid's like freaking out, and so I put my hand out, and the kid grabs my hand, and then we just start going, dee, 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 and I'm just like, all right, we're good, we're good, and I look at him, oh, you cool, you cool, buddy, and then they, like we do it again, and then and then you just feel the, feel the plane speed up, and then we get a, at a different altitude, and we start leveling out, and then like it was just like it was cool, but I was just like. No. Oh, pretty thunderstorm! Well, scary. No. It's a pretty thunderstorm. <laughs> Ooh, pretty! Oh, well, yeah. you're about to see it up close. <laughs> I think that was when I was coming. I was coming back from New York, and that was probably the scariest flight I've had. And I, I don't think I've ever told anyone about that till now. Wow! <laughs> yeah, it freaked me out a little bit. Yeah, Do you think, I, I don't like the whole birds thing. Like, oh, go, the birds can mess up the whole engine. The engine is carrying like I don't know how many tons, but a lot of tons. Yeah. yeah. So it's going by really quick. Right. 15 birds maybe goes in the engine and it blows up. I'm like, what kind of engines are they? Are these just foil well, engines? It's, or? A, it's the same thing as It's you. on a blender. It's an engine, okay? <laughs> it should be better than the damn blender. If I put a bird in the blender right now, it's going to blend it up. You know, I would have hoped that they would come up with something where, like, you know, it would maybe a cover or something. Catch on you know? or something. You know, I yeah, think they probably, they probably did that for, like, maybe what actually happened. Oh, what, did that actually happen with the engines? Like, yeah. That was a statement. So then, I don't know if that was a statement or not. That, uh, I kind of wondered about that. Like, yeah. oh, that sounds like some birds. birds. It's the same thing as <laughs> like, oh, it was some birds. Yeah. 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 a monkey wrench into an engine. You freaking bounce around like one small little monkey wrench, like done deal. I can see a monkey wrench, birds. but a bird. I don't know. All, all that metal is very light. It's it's diff it's it's done differently. You know, it, it could. I'm just saying. Well, like, what are you asking to get yeah, taken down? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, that, that, that I mean, kind of bothered me a little bit. When you go to the beach, there's going to be sharks. When you go in the sky, there's going to be birds. Mm -hmm. So so you prepare for them. Yeah, yeah, so you have a guy sitting on top of a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> Pull! Shoot him down or something. <laughs> uh, Anything else? We, I mean, that's pretty much the movie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just overall reenacting the accounts that happened right. you know, during that week or two period. Uh, whatever happened after that, we don't know because they said they're going to come back to the whole... A simulation thing. Mm -hmm. We'll do. We'll look at that another at another time. Like, well, we're done. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> clear that you know he, he, <laughs> did, he did all he could, and the people in the simulation couldn't replicate it. Right, but they could have still went after him. Yeah. We don't know, but that's yeah. the movie. Um, it, it just goes. You guys like, decide. Yeah, sorry. The last little tip. Okay. Okay. it just goes to show you know you can have all these statistics, you know you can you can be by the book. But when it comes down to practical application, mm -hmm. it's a much different scenario. That's like one thing. Like there's so there's there's two different types of people that sometimes you know, work in this world, and there are people that like read the book and said, "No, this is the way it is," and when you live it, it's a completely different scenario. And that's just the thing. Like, yeah. So I just I, I I've always been on this tier where it's like you can tell me it's written that way, but when I did it this way, mm -hmm. completely different scenario, buddy. Like so. this is why I'm not a fan of like droids and all these robots and things like that that people want to do. Oh, yeah. I'm like, no, I like people. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a fan of, you know, flesh and blood, real jobs. Mm -hmm. all Human this. elements. Right, yeah. you know, I need that. Mm -hmm. But I know this world wants to go to the whole, you know, robotic, electronic. Terminators. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, all right, well, that's our review, guys. You make your decision whether or not you want to see it. I would, oh, I would, okay, the, the rating, um, oh. I would probably give it 6.5? 6.5? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. I, I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I get that it's more of a drama and kind of documentary style. I'll give it like an 8 out of 10 for that category. Wow. Yeah. Actually, specifically because I, I enjoy Clint Eastwood as a director, Tom Hanks is the actor, the supporting role is very good. And I, I kind of got my hero to villain complex because I wanted to beat the crap out of everyone that was giving them, giving them <laughs> crap for it. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to give it an 8 as well. Um, okay. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean... I don't get your yeah. guys' ratings. I know. You didn't want to see it in a movie, but you get yeah, it I'm saying movie. I'll watch it outside of the movie. I, I just don't get that. I, I, I wanted to see it. I think, well, the thing is, like, <laughs> so the thing is, like, if I had the choice uh, and it came out on DVD in a couple months and I watched it then, I would feel the same way about it. So it's like, I mean, I watched it because we need to watch it for this. 
And the thing is, it, it would have probably still gotten an 8 rating when I watched it at home. It's just, it was a good movie, but as far as... But we're also theater, saying, if you should go see it, it could be a, a, a decent movie, yeah, yeah. but is it worth the money to go see it? If you give it an 8. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so should we see it in the theaters? <laughs> I, it's entirely up to you. I, I, I think you should go see it on uh, matinee day yeah, or one of the five dollar Tuesday kind of days. But it's For still an eight. It's still an eight. Yeah, because it, it was a good, good movie. movie. It, it was, was a good done movie. well. You guys were the judge. <laughs> I, it's six point five. I didn't want to see it in the movie. I felt like it should have been at home, which which made it go down some. Was it a decent movie? Sure. Did I like the the information? Sure. Not a theater movie though. For me. Could you imagine it seen it in D box though? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm the Anthony. Adan. Conch. And we're out. Take care, Peace. guys. Peace. Hey, Derek, you got my SD card? What SD card? What SD card? Hey, hey. I'm asking, do you have my SD? Damn it! Oh! You, God damn it! I warned you. Silent but deadly.